is happening with my farm? I need to get this fixed up. Okay, let's go up here. Where, where did I put my bloody stone pickaxe again? Oh, this is a joke. Where the hell did I put it though? Like, I've only got a few chests with honestly not that much stuff okay <laughs> but yeah with that said everyone welcome back to the making minecraft fun again series but today we have a pretty fun episode for those who haven't seen last episode i'll put it up on the screen right now but this is the making minecraft fun again series where yeah last episode we built this really really nice little cottage house with a um pretty ugly looking farm for now <laughs> seem to really really like last episode i mean that episode got a ton of support i do just want to take a moment to thank you all so much for that and for those who do remember last episode i actually set you all a challenge and that challenge was to name this little buddy over here and the winner you might say over the sign was mr bite who left a comment he wanted the dog to be named peanut and it was honestly won by a bloody landslide. Okay, and remember, I'll be putting these in every episode of these challenges, so make sure to stay tuned for them. But the moment you've all been waiting for, what are we doing this episode? Well, if you see over here in this chest, we have a lot of resources, and this is going to be for the next build for episode two. In a normal Let's Play, people would normally have like, oh, I'd build a barn, some farms and stuff like that. However, we are not normal people. <laughs> we are going to be doing something a bit different. We are going to be building a forest shrine to basically sacrifice some people. I mean to summon good fortune for this series. Yes, yes, not sacrificing people to summon good fortune. But, but yeah, as you can see up here guys, we actually made this nice little area and this is where our forest run is going to be, right up on the tip of the hill where you can see our little house. And I think this should be a really, really fun build and just something very, very different than what we usually would do. And I have a kind of fun idea. I want to build a nice little pathway of the waterfall and stuff like that. And I want to build some nice little like custom rocks and stuff up here. Maybe a custom tree. I'm possibly thinking about it, although that probably is going to be torture. However, that is not the only thing we're going to be doing for today's episode. We are also going to be doing a micro build, which I mentioned last episode and that is going to be for building a dog house a tiny little dog house to the time being for little peanut we have down there so we're going to be doing that first off and then we're going to start working on the shrine you know we're all still quite limited with all the resources we have as we still only have stone tools which i did actually set a challenge you guys remember the last episode i set a challenge and that challenge was basically to um I don't know, kind of basically make it to limit myself to I basically can't use any iron tools until episode 5, which I'm kind of regretting, not gonna lie. So for this little dog house, I'm gonna do a pretty simple little build, as it is only a micro build, like I've said, and I've just stuffed that up already, but no, it is fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, for this episode, I kind of just want to take it and just kind of just chill and just kind of just talk to you guys you know <laughs> i do love doing that i do love these little chill sort of um let's play like videos you know they're very very fun to make and you guys do seem to be enjoying them so i am just going to take this moment to just talk to you guys just while i build this just in the background i just want to ask you guys um have you been recently enjoying these little shorts i've been putting out so, so, so for some of you you might have noticed that i've actually been putting out these little shorts recently and these little shorts are really really just fun little basic builds you might say i add some little background music and that's practically it just a basic little short um shorts and i have like little builds and stuff they're basically like little tutorials and i'm putting them out recently they're really fun to put out and people seem to really really be enjoying them so let me leave your thoughts down below of what you think um what your thoughts are on it to top it all off this build all it needs now is just a few little sporadic um path blocks and I think that is it. I think that is our little doghouse complete. Now, like I said, it's just a very, very simple little build. A nice little area for Peanut to live in. And I think I actually have a good name for this build. There we go. Peanut's Palace has now been constructed. A nice little build to add to the world. And this is why I like these little uh, micro builds in the episodes. Is it kind of just adds a lot to the world, even though it's something very, very minor. It's just good to walk past. And a nice little place for Peanut to rest at night. But, everybody, it is now time to actually start continuing on with the forest shrine and the first thing we're going to do for that is actually clear a path going up to the hill so as you can see or no you can't see but now you can see <laughs> we have completely sort of um clear this area out i still i am as you can see i have actually placed some saplings as i hate the kind of barren look of just regular what's called um just uh, uh, land yes regular land so i do love having that natural look so i am replanting some of the forest because i want this to be kind of like i kind of want to make it so when you walk in this pathway you kind of like feel enclosed and it feels really cool so now what i think i'm going to do is actually start working on a simple little pathway just with path blocks and just slabs going all the way up 
to there. And I think I'm just going to do a touch of terraforming on the way, just make it a bit easier to go up and down. And then we can start working on the extra details. Ladies and gentlemen, so after a quite a bit of work, actually, um, we have finished the basic little pathway. And honestly, I'm very, very happy with this. It's just a simple, nice little um, path block and oak plank slab thingamajiggity pathway all the way up to the hill up here and honestly i'm very happy with this it's just a nice little simple pathway going up here and now what we need to do is just kind of just add in really just some little rocks and stuff a little bush maybe some like fence posts and maybe even a little wagon or something and i think that should be really really nice little design so um yeah i'll, I'll check on you I'll, yeah there okay everybody so after a lot more work and honestly uh quite a lot of resources being used we have finished up the pathway and i was originally going to add like a wagon and waterfall and stuff however there was enough room so i am going to scrap that however i just remember i think just while i'm here um you guys might see we have done a lot of work on this and i think i'm just going to go through and just quickly add some little potted plants like this but look at this this looks so so cool and i'm very very happy with how this turned out this looks absolutely awesome and Honestly, I did not expect it to look this nice. I keep forgetting how good the natural look of Minecraft actually is. So I'm very, very happy with how this looks. And now it actually is time to work on the shrine up here, which we're only going to do some basic stuff for, but I think it should be pretty fun. So let's start doing that. But yeah, everybody, so I have a pretty cool plan for what I want to do for this. So like I said, I want to do sort of like a spike, sort of like um, mountain I don't really know. But another really cool feature that I think would be really nice is if I have like spikes kind of going up like that like, um, stone spice and then like a little stone wall thing kind of encapsulated this area and then just having some leaves and stuff like that and then an altar here and um then over in the distance literally just straight up a um the, the sunset in the distance i think that should look so so cool and i'm really excited to build this so i think what i'm going to do is start with the actual spikes okay guys so i've done the first sort of spike and honestly i'm pretty happy with this this like it's not the best thing i've ever seen but it is pretty good. I'm happy with that. For the first spike, that looks pretty good. Now, all I need to do is just do one more on this side, and then do kind of like a wall sort of all the way around, and then I think that should be the main sort of area complete. Okay, guys, so both the spikes are complete, and now I think the area is practically done. All we need to do now is just some decorations. So this is what it looks like. So we come up here, and the moment of truth, three, two, one, that is looks so cool so as you can see this one's actually a bit thicker than this one this one's more pointed this one's like more like kind of vertical instead of um i don't know i don't, I don't know what i'm saying but now what we need to do everyone so this is after all the sacrificial place so what we need to do is actually get some plants in the mix okay guys so all i'm gonna say is um i've added a lot of plants i've practically completely enclosed this whole area in just plants and leaves and blocks and stuff like that and vines and all that and i think it looks really really cool but now what i want to do is actually start decorating this area and what i want to do for the main attraction in between the actual things here is i want to have a kind of i don't really know what to call it an altar i don't really know like how, how to explain it but kind of like an altar sort of thing and this is going to be where like the i guess you could say the sacrifices and stuff are made so it's actually this little altar and there'll be like the sun in the distance i think it will look really really cool However, now what we need to do is actually de start decorating this little area. So, um, yeah, I'll be back when I've kind of done a little bit of that. All right, guys. So, as you can see here, I've started working. And this area, it looks so cool. It's basically like this little, like, kind of, like, broken up storage area where people just come and, like, um, trash all their stuff, all the things for the sacrifice and like that. And it's kind of like a little camp sort of thing. You might have actually seen in one of the shorts I put out uh, recently. It basically was, like, that exact sort of build. And I think it looks really, really cool. I also just realized I put that in the wrong spot. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, what I want to do now is just put, like, a... I've already got a crafting table. Actually, I think what I'll do is put, like, a chest on that. Put a barrel up there. A trap door. Trap door. And then I'll put, like, a slab. Campfire. And then this is what I've actually been doing with campfires. It looks really, really cool. They look like better slabs. And you do that sort of effect. And it looks really, really nice. And I also want to do something like this. And then put the final campfire, like, over here. And this will actually be a campfire, I think. I think that would be, like, a nice little thing to do. And I'll put, like, uh, that with that there. And so this one will basically be lit. Well, basically... Oh, hello, mate. <laughs> so basically, when the sacrifices are happening, um, they'll light the campfire to initiate it. And, yeah, that's basically what will happen. So I'm just going to put all these here. Put some lanterns down. And I think if I put last one there... 
That should work. Okay, there we go. We've got this whole area done. Now I said put the paths in. There we go, everybody. As the sun sets, the altar's finished, the forest shrine is complete, and not only do we have a new storage area, but we now have a new shrine. And I know I didn't say any of this, but this is actually our brand new storage area. And <laughs> I honestly, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to spoil it, but this is so bloody cool. It is probably one of the coolest builds I've done in a while. But yeah, with that said, everyone, I think I'm going to leave the episode off here. I also forgot I also probably need to add some light on the pillars. But yeah, with that said... Um, thank you all so much for watching. Oh, I almost built a challenge. Okay, you know what guys the challenge is gonna be a basic one The most liked comment with a build recommendation. It has to be manageable Will be next episodes build so leave your recommendation. Oh my god Leave your recommendations down below and vote down in the comments down below because the most liked comment will be the next sort of Oh, yeah, will be the next uh, build so yeah <laughs> um i hope you guys did enjoy hope, consider liking and subscribing it helps out a ton and yeah make sure to share this video and uh, with that said thank you all so much for watching hope you have a great day and goodbye